Welcome to Atomic Athletic. I'm Roger LaPointe. I'm going to get this out of my mouth. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is a couple of different dumbbells. Right here, this is a training dumbbell that I use. Just a standard size one that's got a thick handle for doing grip work, setting up, that kind of thing. This is an old uh, York Globe Cannonball type dumbbell with 80 pound heads. You might have seen on a previous uh, little YouTube clip here that uh, I had done a swing with this and what I'm going to do today is the swing that the old American barbell men did. I'm talking circa 1930. The British record in this style, which was the record at the time in the 168 pound class, was 173 and a quarter pounds. And you might ask, well, how is that possible with the centrifugal force of a swing? You are going to see. One of the things that they would do is they would misload the dumbbell. This end is both bigger in diameter and heavier than this end. This is 84.3 pounds, I think it weighed in on the postal scale. And I'm using one of our pro style handles here. Uh, you can see with the uh, shoulder bolt in the end, uh, like we use with our uh, brass thick handle dumbbells. And I've put in a antique center piece. And what you do is you actually actually use a leather forearm gauntlet, which is specified by Mark Berry in Physical Improvement that he, Volume 2, which he published in 1930. And it is key. You really want to do that. So here I go. There you go. I believe that's an American record for uh, the USAWA, although I don't think they allow the forearm gauntlet. Uh, trust me, if you're practicing this, you want the forearm gauntlet. <laughs> Thanks a lot once again, Roger LaPointe, Atomic Athletic.